Well, there it is. That's the Bell Island Lighthouse down at the east end of the island. And uh, also the Keeper's Cafe, uh, where I played some music last time I was here in 2018. It's closed right now. Um, supposed to open up sometime this week or next week. Anyway, that's the lighthouse. And, <laughs> and here's the view. How's that? I'm, uh, I'm about five feet away from the edge of the cliff here, which, you know, I feel pretty good about. I guess we're probably about 120, somewhere between 120 and 140 feet above the water. And uh, you can see that the reason why that section is not joined to the land anymore is because of erosion. And uh, there's the, a lot of layered slate and soft rock um, besides the iron ore. There's no iron ore right here in this area. But uh, it just sort of eats away. Uh, heavy weathering and then, um, and then the sea stack, it's called a sea stack, gets separated from the, from the main part of the the island and you can actually see the layers of slate and uh, the way it crumbles and falls away and anyhow and lots of nice wildflowers here so take a little walk here There's a good example of the erosion. This is the way it happens. You see that this whole section here is gonna wind up being like that. Uh, sooner or later, it'll take a while. We're sort of in the area where I took the pictures at uh, one of them, which became the cover of my book, The Secret of Bell Island. Down here, this sea stack, you can actually see has now, uh, a part of it has been eroded and travels, goes all the way through to the other side. Uh, eventually the middle of that will fall down and it'll become two sea stacks and sooner or later uh, it'll all end up crumbling and falling into the ocean I reckon. I was tempted at one time to do some um, to do some climbing maybe rappel off of there and get down to there's a little beach down below that would be nice to visit you can only get to it either by water or from up above. Um, but now that I see the nature of the, um, the rock, uh, it wouldn't be safe. Um, you can see lots of, lots of bits of rock actually fall away from time to time. And uh, you wouldn't want, even if you had a hard hat, you wouldn't want one of them falling on you. Carrying on. I haven't been to a lot of other places outside of North America, but even if I had, I still think that this would be pretty much my favorite spot in the whole wide world. Bell Island, all of it, but especially this area is special to me. Couldn't tell you exactly why outside of the obvious. It's got some great views and so on, but uh, There's a ruggedness here, I think, is one of the things that I, that I love so much about it. And, uh, 
And of course, the whole history of the mining from 1895 to 1966, when things were shut down pretty much overnight, with little warning, where thousands of people had to leave the island and go off to other places in Canada and the United States to, to try and earn a living, when the bottom just fell out of the iron ore industry here. I guess that's part of it. Okay, I'm gonna sign off for a little bit.